So here you talk about the fiber to the room. Yes, fiber to the room. All right. So uh, actually, Huawei launched this fiber to the room product two years before. And this year we showed FTTR version 3. Huawei launched version 3 FTTR early of this year. And we can see there is some data. And until now, recently in China, there's around 4.6 million FTTR subscribers in China. And also there are 27. There are 27 carriers that launch FTTR the service globally. Globally. Yeah, this is the China data, this is the all overseas data. And compared with the other, you know FTTR the 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 the, the, the uh, they also have, right? Huawei FTTR, they have some, for the solution, we have some advantage. The first is bandwidth. We can support two mega, two giga, everywhere. And yeah. second, we can support you know, 128 connections and support at the same time. Same time. Yeah. Right. And also for the latency, the cut over the latency, we, we can support 20 millimeter, millisecond. Ah, super low latency. Yeah. So there, there it is. Uh, extreme speed. People go to two gigabit, for example. It could be more. 20 milliseconds. Uh, ultimate coverage. Large concurrency. So, um, and what do you mean by ARPU 50% up? ARPU 50,000 increase. It means, you know, compare, you know, for, uh, for one family, of course, yeah. they, have some, they have some broadband, right? But this broadband, only the, only the broadband. And like you said, your family have two 100 mega the broadband. This is only the broadband. But with FTTR, and because before the, the, the fiber just to the, the modem, right? Like this. Before, you just have the broadband to here. Yeah. And right now with Huawei FTTR solution, the fiber to every room. Wow. So it means for the carrier, they can sell more. Wow. Before they can just can sell this one, and right now they can sell this one. Every room. This is the basic information. And based on this one, this is network, right? And the carrier, they can also bundle the other service. Like you know the, the smart, you know the family, there's so many connectors, right? The sensor the, the, the camera, the sensor and other. So this is 15% mean at least 50%. They can sell this uh, uh, reality system, the 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 VR system, they can sell uh, yes. mesh Wi-Fi networking. Yes. Everything can, you can see there. Yeah? So what do we see here? I mean, this is the case from yeah. Chan Unicom, and you can okay. see it. Yeah. Chan Unicom. Yeah. So I mean, just not, not FTTR, not only the fiber to the room. Based on this connection, based on this family network, they can see more, like the camera, like the sensor, and also, you know, like this temporary sensor, the temperature sensor, and also the water, the sensor, and also, you know, Oh. Oh. Customer satisfaction goes up. So, yeah. there's many things about uh, fiber. It's not only a question of uh, bandwidth; it's also latency. That's a big deal. Yeah. Because if you if you if you do cloud storage, cloud computing, of AI, course. you want a quick answer. Of course, you know there is so many you know the the, the human activity right most in the room. And like you said, you want to upload some information to the cloud and download some cloud. You want the bandwidth. You want the maintenance, right? So this is the best solution. And, uh, and this also, is those dream device. Uh, in the future, you can have like a, a right there. There's a fiber. Like fiber goes see, to this. This is all FTTR version three, the CPE. And you can see this is the interface, right? And this is the fiber interface. This is uplink, and with this one, it also can uh, uh, cascade the other one. Mean also can support other interface. 
All right, so then it goes to uh, gigabit. Yes. Uh, to, and this to, uh, is the equipment, right? And also the fiber. This is the fiber. You can see, this is on the wall. You can see the fiber here. Oh, it's there. Oh, wow. It looks like some glue a little bit in the corner. Wow. And Are with you? this one, you can very easy to deploy this fiber. And That's amazing. Yes. In China, you know, one person, one engineer, one all can finish installation for one room. Only one family. One engineer, one hour. Yeah, can finish one family. Wow. That's cool. And uh, so this is the same? The same, different installation. All right. And uh, what is this one? This, this is uh, the, the master one. The master one? Yeah. Like so from the street, it comes to here? Yeah. And uh, on this, connects the fiber also? Of course. You can see? Goes in behind. Right? You can see. This is the port, and yeah. this is the uplink, and yeah. this is the downlink. This is the master. With this one, the maximum capacity, like I said, can support 128 connectivity. Nice. And here you're showing some, some speed test, and it's basically uploading gigabit up to yeah, gigabit down. See. Yeah, this is download. Mm -hmm. But in theory, it could be more than this, right? Right now, this, for this version, we can support 2 giga. And in early of next year, how will you release the new version? 10. 10 GB. Yeah, you can imagine. Okay. Yeah. 20? No. Okay, we'll see. We will see. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. Because it's the same network, yeah. has no limit. And like I said, the fiber, no limitation. Never be if a limit. You, yeah, you deploy the fiber in the room, you just up, update this one. That means your room is future proof. That means you will have always the best connection in that room. And, uh, be, be before I heard about fiber to the home, but now you call it fiber to the room. Yes. Because before you want to go more into. Because before the network just outside the, the, the family, right? Yeah. And right now we call it the one network for one family. I mean inside the network. All right. And uh, on the other side, you talk about uh, business solutions for the fiber to the room. Small medium enterprise, mm. huh? Yeah, this is all FTTR for the small enterprise. They're quite different with the family. You know, before we said, you know, the for the the, the SME this scenario, we we deploy the fiber, but you know the power is very important. And with this one, we call it POF, mean power over fiber. Really? Yeah, we call it hybrid cable. We can see here. Actually, inside there's two in one, and for this one, we can provide the power, and this one is the fiber. Wow! Mean you deploy the one cable can support the traffic and also the power like this. This is the master one, and we have the interface. And also, like this, yeah. the fiber first, the fiber come here, and yeah. to the room, right, to the building. If they are building, we deploy this, the CPE here, and one fiber to this one. Nice. And this one, you can see, can split, one fiber can split to four. And to every floor, one floor, one interface. Nice. This is the terminal. Terminal. We for can the room. see. Yeah, for the room. We can installation on the wall. This, and also we have different installation yeah. to cover you know the different scenario coverage. Nice. What do we see here? What is this TG pond? Everywhere. So this is like a, from the smaller kind of like fiber base stations. <coughs> The last part? Actually, this is the ORT. I mean, ORT means before we can see this one and the uplink will connect to this one. We call it ORT. And why we have the 10G pump solution. 
I mean, Tin Pan as in the traditional, they are still T Pong. And this is this is the new generation for the Pong network and can support the 10 GE as interface upping. 10 G. Yeah. So it's just a huge jump. Uh, this is just the one, In just one year. This it, is, we are jumping 30 million more people. Yeah, this is on the information from Omnibia. You can oh. see, in 2021, for the gigabit, the yielder, only... 37? Yeah, 37. Wow, this is, this is really like quadruple, quadruple in just two years. Yes. It's really fast uh, growth. And uh, 450 gigabit carriers in the world. Wow. And you work with all of them. <laughs> with most of them. Right. And all tech evolved to 10G pond in gigabit area. Yes. So in the future, it will just be more and more speed for everybody. Because the mm -hmm. demand will continue forever. Yeah. You can see the, the, techno the technology always evolution very, very fast, right? Yeah. You can see for the history for the ADSL and VDSL. And also, you know, for the for the G-Pound. Right now, it's 10 G-Pound. In future, we will be 100 G-Pound. Yeah, we'll do it, right? This is based on, you know, the traffic improve. Cool. 